I would look at many things uh, because particularly with events and COVID, let me tell you about a, a bit of a personal experience uh, that I had with this and uh, and why I think there's an opportunity there for events companies. I know they've been hit in the physical part and the sponsorship and the business model is very different. But during the first three months of, of, of COVID and lockdown, a lot of the things that we used to do for our customers, we had to move online. And, you know, one of the one of the big customers we're working with, they said, okay, I'm gonna just move the things for us for, to, to Zoom. It's like, okay, great. Oh, we've been using, we've been a paying customer for Zoom for more than a year. It looks a simple tool, well, let's go ahead and use it. And we agreed to all of this, but when we tried to move the event there, and we're not event organizers, right? That's not our business. When we tried to move everybody there, all of the stakeholders, all of the reviews, and so on. And Zoom looks simple in the, you know, on the outside, but if you really want to set up a, a whole event around it and people and and, uh, and so on, it's it's a lot of work. And we ended up doing it ourselves internally. And at some point, I remember when the meeting, uh, you know, uh, with the meeting, I said, look, you know, I feel that if we add catering, we're an events company now. That's, that's I sensed only because we we embrace the technology aspect of this, which I felt right. other, I, I called up my, my, you know, the business owners, I know who are in events. I said, look, we've learned a lot about setting up an event on digital tech. Can we do something together on this? Because there's a know-how transfer there, 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 there that we can do on this. And this is always going to get even uh, 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 even more difficult, uh, uh, George, because uh, uh, we're all used to webinars and content and so on, uh, George. Because I, I've, I've even started, I've even uh, started a, a business show on LinkedIn uh, uh, a few months ago, only because I couldn't stand for me to have a PowerPoint and stand and speak. I was like, Khalas, I, I can't do this anymore. I've, I've, done, I've done so many myself. I've attended so many myself. So I had to reinvent it somehow. And that's me. I'm not an event guy. So the events folks, I think, have core aspects what has to do with technology so what tools are we revising so even if we're using zoom there are so many add-ons you can add did we look at new tools this quarter so you know it could be as simple as what are new tools we're looking at and tools not just for this they have networking they have so many so many tools to look at for those so what are new tools are we adding every quarter that that, that we're looking at this uh, second i would also look at from a content perspective because the formats are, are you know the formats are now commonly used and they're very accessible they have to do something else it was super difficult for me to move yeah business content to, to, to something else and, and uh, uh, the content part and third is how to get people to come so so the, uh, you know we've tried something new on this we did we move the needle from 15 average to 18 or, or so, like so what, what, what is that? So those, those would be the key aspects looking at this.